Good morning, everyone. The session this morning will be specifically um, addressing uh, the question of motivation and retention of employees, a new old challenge for companies. Low employee well-being, mental health, and low and poor motivation are really associated with significant economic impacts that they lead to uh, substantial reductions in productivity and also premature withdrawal from the labor market. Employees are less motivated than before. They are less performant than before. They have more stress. Um, they, they fall sick. They, they, the absenteeism is very, very high. There's a threat of burnout. And we see that people also say that they don't see alternatives on the labor market. So they stay in the job because they feel, yeah, they, they are happy they have a job, but that's actually the only thing. How can we motivate these people? Uh, I don't really believe in, uh, in, in any retention policy per se, because I think that uh, for a company or for an HR strategy, our only uh, rule is to be sure that uh, we, we, we are sure that people love what they do. And that's, that's the main purpose of a company for me. Are there studies, especially uh, on very high potential millennials, how to cope with their rhythm? Uh, we are faced within the Commission with the problem of new organization like uh, open space, uh, hot desking. And I would like to know if you did some research and if there is an impact. Are companies interested to invest in people? to especially older people over 50. Sometimes uh, uh, millennials could be uh, very uh, tiring because uh, well, they want to change everything, they have plenty of ideas, they, uh, they want to go fast and, and sometimes in fact you have in fact to, to yeah, uh, like a horse, uh, you, can be full, you can't be full speed all the time. I, I, I think really they can understand it uh, they can understand it if you listen to them first. A lot of those open space um, offices also include much more flexible working time and more trust between the employees. They've shown quite positive effects, I think, but, but it probably does depend a lot on how, how those things are implemented. You really need a, um, a change of culture. You cannot, it's, it's, yeah, it's the same for the managers. You, you can have an idea of, yeah, we have to listen to our people, but if it's not the culture in your, in your organization, if the people don't follow that, yeah. Thank you all for coming this morning, and thank you to our panelists. <laughs>